Hi everybody, how are you? This is Dimitri Giancoulis from Pure Motivation Fitness and I'm here on December 31 to talk to you guys about a little fitness tip that I think you guys can use with yourself from today or this evening when you're going to be having those drinks and those foods and also to the new year going on. So we're going to talk about the sliding scale of binge eating and what I mean about that. So we all have either tried to lose weight, um, either tried to gain some muscle, tried to start a fitness program and in doing so we kind of hit some runs in the, in the middle and we see that sometimes the results don't happen right away. We get discouraged, we get upset, and we either continue, go back to the drawing board, see what we did wrong, and then make some progress to get some results, or we kind of get stuck and we get question marks. So with our clients, and with many of the clients I've worked with over the years, I try to explain to them as a sliding scale for binge eating and how it affects you in a negative way. So let's break this down into a basic scale, okay? So this is your neutral point. This is your starting point. And this is your goal, okay? So let's say you want to get your results and you want to go from this position to your midway to your goal. There are certain steps that have to go through with your body. So just like in math, you got your negative five, four, three, two, one. My hand rings not the best. Positive one, two, three, four, five. So think of these as marker points. Think of these as increments in time that you have to, you have to pass and successfully pass in order to get to the next level. You cannot teach your son or your daughter to skate in one lesson. You first got to teach them how to put their skates on, how to stay on the ice, how to bounce, how to go a few meters, hold it on something, then you slowly let it take it off. So in terms of putting a sliding scale into a nutritional intake, when you're starting your program out, you're in a negative state. Your body requires a certain period of time, whether it be seven days, 14 days, or typically 21 days of clean eating or clean exercise to get your body programmed. What ends up happening is people start their program, they'll go, you know, one day, two day, three days, or one week, a week and a day, a week and a second day, and then bang. They'll have a bad meal. That sets them back one day. Perfect. They think, no, no problem at all. I'll go back to the gym. I'll go back to my workout. I'll see my trainer. I'll go back another one, two, three days. Another two days of bad eating, a heavy weekend of drinking, um, you know, having a pizza by yourself one two three four you're going back a few days then again you try this again you go one day of positive eating two days of positive eating same thing happens so whenever you're doing this this type of, of, of program one you're confusing your body and reprogram your metabolism instead of your metabolism understanding that every three hours it's supposed to work faster it's supposed to speed up to burn calories you're actually confusing your brain and just like a computer you will set program periods of time where your body's going to say, you know what, shut down the metabolism. Instead of being hungry, forget it. I'm okay. I'll miss this meal. I'll go to the next meal. In essence, you're putting yourself or you're encouraging fat storage, okay, versus fat burning. You cannot be in a fat burning state unless you pass this neutral state. So for one of my members this morning that I was training, she's sitting, well, you know, I eat really clean for a week and a half and then the skill is a move and then I say forget about it. Well, if this is going to be your week period and you've went one good week of training three, four times a week or at least three times a week in proper eating, as soon as you pass that neutral point and your body starts understanding that you're doing something different, you propel. Your body will start to not be confused and it will understand the metabolism will increase. You're encouraging fat burning mode because you're eating every three hours. You got the proper protein percentage, carb percentage, and fat percentage. All those into a day's worth of eating. Okay? In terms of your body understanding that you're trying to burn body fat, it needs a certain period of time to actually go through to see the results. If not, you fall back again. Two bad days of eating, one good day, two days, three good days of training. Guess what? Family came in from out of town, bang, 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 bang. So you're constantly in this negative state. This is going to make your goals much harder to get. So you're basically sabotaging your goals. You need a lot more time. So instead of you doing um, a week of good training, a week of good eating, and then having one little meal to throw you off, a day or two or a few drinks extra can set you back maybe two or three workouts. When you're breaking it down, an hour of cardio is going to equal 450 calories. An hour of weight training is going to equal 800 to 900 calories. So you go, you go figure. You're going to have 
a slice of cake that's 1200 calories, that's one workout. You're gonna have you know four or five drinks one night plus slice of pizza at a party, well, you need to do three hours of workout. So I know you're gonna go out and have some fun tonight. We're not gonna encourage you to drink. Drink smart, eat smart, and remember, as the new year begins, don't sabotage your goals. Set yourself for a seven or 14 day period where you can go perfect without having any mix ups so you can create those good habits. And remember, attitude is everything when you're trying to make yourself healthy and fit. Take care and happy new year from us to you.